so today I've returned to Tiffany Falls and one of the interesting things about Tiffany Falls is that there are a few things here that people walk by and never actually ever look at. This is supposed to be a fireplace of some sort. What kind of building? I'm not sure. You can see the fire brick in there. what this is exactly. It looks like it was like a residence fireplace, but I'm not sure what building was here back in the day. So down below here, is a very early culvert. But if you look at that culvert down there, it's made of stone. So you don't see culverts built out of stone anymore. So I don't know what year that was made, but it looks pretty old. I wonder if there's a date on the arch there somewhere. It looks like it's very, very early. Like 1800s or something. So I'm going to wander up to the falls. See how much water is going over there today. <laughs> That's okay. Lots of people here today. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, it's always hard. Well, here we are. We're at Tiffany Falls. It's a 21 meter cascade waterfall, and it's on the Tiffany Creek here in the Tiffany Creek Conservation Area. Uh, just a beautiful waterfall. It's actually named after uh, Dr. Oliver Tiffany, and he was a local doctor in the Ancaster area. And he came to this area in 1796, and apparently he passed away in 1835. So this falls is named after him. Around this point, I began to look at the trail going up to the other waterfalls, and oh my goodness, <laughs> this, this slope is uh, not easy to traverse. 
so you know the, the vast majority of people would not be able to come up here but it was wet it was slippery there were lots of fallen leaves in the spot and it just made it even more slippery and so I, uh, I navigated my way up here and was able to stop and take some pictures and some video from higher up so it was great place to take nice shots of the waterfalls. slope here is getting steeper and steeper and steeper and there's no forgiving. If you slip here, you're going to go for a ride down the ravine. Uh, but fortunately, I was able to navigate my way up to the top. So one of the secrets of Tiffany Falls is that there's another falls right above it. And this falls is called Washboard Falls. Feeling. I want to get a circle. Huh. All right. boots. So here we are at Washboard Falls. So this is one of the hidden secrets of Tiffany Falls, in that uh, there's another falls above Tiffany Falls, and this little falls is called Washboard Falls. Beautiful little cascade type waterfall, probably about three meters. A little difficult to get up here, you have to kind of traverse the slope at the side of Tiffany Falls, but well worth it to come up and take a look at it. So I'm realizing that my parking is about to expire, so they only let you park here for an hour, which is crazy, but it is what it is. So if I can get across here and down the slope without soaking my feet or killing myself, I'll be in good shape. Soaker. <laughs> well, it's all for a good cause. Now we're gonna get back down here again.
Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to join me on my next adventure.